Now, sabi dito sa question, angles A and B are supplementary while angles B and C are complementary. Angle A is 155 degrees. What is the measurement of angle C? Okay? Now, I guess if mayroong drawing dito sa question na ito, it will make your job a lot easier. But since walang drawing, it will force you to imagine it or even to draw it on a separate piece of paper. And that's exactly why I wanted to discuss this with you. Kasi honestly, itong tanong na to, wala sa one-third ang tumama doon sa aking question. So, ibig sabihin nun, marami ang hindi na alam, ito alam. And if you want the full lesson dito sa angles, I'm going to link it here sa post din so you can watch it to catch up. Okay? Or to also see kung na um, sigurado nyo na na alam na alam nyo na siya. Now, i-drawing muna natin. Ang sabi, angles A and B are supplementary. So, ibig sabihin na supplementary is that pag pinagsama mo sila, okay, it'll form yung 180 degrees. Okay? Yung angles A and B. Kaya lang, hindi natin alam exactly kung ano. And then, yung angles B and C naman, okay, and of course, dahil yung B ito, ay B din doon, ibig sabihin, that one angle ay pareho sila. Okay? Sila naman daw ay complementary. No? Pag sinabing complementary, ang ibig sabihin po niyan is sila naman ay pag lagay mong ganyan or right angle ito, bubuin niya naman niya yung right angle. Which means, 90 degrees pag pinagsama. Okay? So, ulitin natin ha. Kapag supplementary, 180 degrees. Pag complementary, 90 degrees. And uh, I teach this to my students para madaling tandaan. Lagi niyong iisipin yung S. Yan. 1, a, T, and then yung C is 9T. Okay? And kung makikita nyo rin yung C ay parang dalawang beses or doble siya ng S. So, ibig sabihin, sa S at C, mas malaki dapat yung S. Siya yung 180 degrees at yung complementary naman ay 90 degrees. Okay? Just for you to better remember it. Okay? Now, ang sabi, meron daw tayong angle A and B dito. So, kung kunyari, ganyan ang gagawin natin, kung ito ang magiging si A, at ito naman ang magiging si B, okay, pag pinagsama ko sila, dapat daw 180 sila. Now, ang sabi, angle A is 155 degrees. Ibig sabihin, ito ay 155 degrees. At dahil 180 dapat ang sum, ang hinahanap natin ay kung ano man ang idadagdag ko sa 155 para lumabas yung 180. So, all I have to do is to subtract 155 from 180. So, 180 minus 155. Okay. Ang lalabas dyan would be 25 degrees. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang angle B ay 25 degrees. So, kung dito ko siya kukunin, yung angle B ay 25 degrees. Ang hinahanap ay angle C. So, ang gagawin ko naman ngayon is going, it's going to be 25 degrees, which is angle B. Pag dinagdag ko yung angle, angle C, lalabas 90 degrees. So, C is equal to, at ililipat din natin yun sa kabila, 90 minus 25. Okay? So, C is equal to 65 degrees. Okay? So, ang tamang sagot dito, kung ang B, kung angle A ay 135, ibig sabihin magiging yung B ay magiging uh, 25 degrees, at yung C naman, in turn, ay magiging... 65 degrees. So, the answer is letter D. 65 degrees.
Carla got 92, 96, 93, and 91 on her first four tests. She has two more tests to take and wants to get an average of 95. What should she get on her next two tests? Now, um, nung nakita ko tong question na to at uh, nakita ko na malayo sa kalahati, in fact, uh, I think one-fourth lang ang tumama dito or even less than that, uh, sabi ko, okay, gagawin ko to ng quick question explainer. Ito ay, didiscuss ko na rin partly doon sa aking series ng Topping Up. And um, the thing is, I have a special secret technique dito sa ganitong klaseng tanong, whether we're talking about one test or more. Kasi I think one of the things na hindi nyo napansin agad dito is this, two more tests ang kailangan niyang i-take. So, yung kung ang ginawa ninyo is yung diniscuss ko doon, which is yung formula for just one test, probably ang ginawa ninyo is just 92 plus 96 plus 93 plus 91 plus X. And then, all over 5, tapos equals 95. Ito yung structure ng formula. Kaya lang again, like I said, dito, two more tests ang itetake niya. Hindi lang isa. Okay? So, kung hindi lang isa, ibig sabihin, dalawa pang itetake niya tests, ang mag magiging difference is dalawa yung magiging X. Okay? At hindi na lang limang test ang pinag-uusapan natin. Ang pinag-uusapan natin, anim na tests na. Kasi, maliban sa apat niyang tests na na-take na, 1, 2, 3, 4, meron ka pang two more na additional. So, over 6 yung magiging sagot. Ito yung magiging average. Okay? So, para mawala ito, gagawin natin, tatanspose natin. Di ba? Multiply natin both sides by 6. So, you have equals, that's 95 na lang, times 6. Okay? Ang ginagawa ko usually pag nagme-mental math ako, wina 100 ko na lang. Kasi ang 100 times 6 is 600. Tapos babawas ako na lang ng 6 na 5. Okay? Bakit 6 na 5? Kasi 5 na lang yung 95, 100 na sana siya. Eh, kaya lang, 95 lang. So, 6 times 5, 30. Okay? So, so sa isip ko, 570 na lang siya. Instead of i-multiply ko pa ng mano-mano. Ganun ko siya isolve. And, uh, yun naman din ang sagot. Okay? Kasi ang 95 times 6, 570 pa rin siya kahit ilulongkat mo siya. So, dito 570. Tapos, i-add ko ito ngayon lahat. Okay? Now, um, pag nag add ako ng ganyan, lalo na sa araw ng exam, kasi syempre nagmamadali ka na, ang ginagawa ko na agad, binubuo ko na yung apat na 90. Okay? Or kung may mabubuo akong 100, bubuoin ko na. Now, uh, it takes a little bit of imagination, but bear with me. I'm just trying to teach you some of my speed techniques para sa exam. Ganon. If you notice, yung 3 dito na butal, tsaka yung 1 dito na butal, magiging 4 yan. Pwede ko yung idagdag ngayon sa 96 para maging 100 siya. Okay? So, mangyayari, 100 na lang yan. And I'm using chunking, which I discussed in another video. Hanapin nyo na lang siya on YouTube, chunking. Pero sasama-sama ko siya para hindi ko na siya masyadong intindihin. Tapos ito, 92 plus, and then like that. So, what we have here would be dalawang 90, tatlong 90, so 270, ta plus 2, 272, plus 100, 372. So, 372 plus, tas dalawang x, 2x is equal to 570. So, ganyan na yung mangyayari. Gagawin ko yung 2x, iiwanan ko lang siya dito sa side na ito para positive pa rin siya. Tapos yun to, ililipat ko dun sa kabila, magiging minus 372 siya. Now, you can subtract it na ganyan long cut or ang ginagawa ko na lang pag nagme-mental math ako which I would explain to you para lang maka, sakaring mapulutan nyo ng aral. Kung hindi naman, pwede nyo idiretsyo na sa traditional method, no? Pero ang ginagawa ko kasi, yung 570, ma minus ko yung 372, tatanggalin ko agad yung 70 kasi match up na sila. So, magiging ano na lang, 500 minus 302. Now, unahin ko yung 2 kasi yun yung pinakamalit na butal. So, itong 500 magiging 498 na lang siya. Minus 300, madali na lang kasi buo na siya. So, the answer would be 198. 198. Now, kung gusto yung traditional, okay lang din. Pareho lang din yung magiging sagot. Kaya lang, iba yung dadaanan ninyo. Magbabaro kayo. So, 0, 2, hindi pwede. So, this will be 10. Para maging 10 yan, hihiramin ko yung 6. 8. Tapos, 6 minus 7, hindi rin pwede. Babaro uli ako dito. Magiging 4 to. Magiging 16. This will be 9. This will be 1. Again, nakita nyo, pareho lang din yung sagot. Kaya lang, ito is something I can do mentally. Ito kailangan ng papel. So again, whatever works for you, sa kayo mas mabilis, doon kayo pupunta. Now next, i-divide ko lang sila both sides sa 2 para ma-cancel ko ito. So 198 divided by 2x is equal to 90. Okay? Kasi, um, 
Pag divide ko yan sa 2, this will be 9. Tapos 18 kasi mangyayari. Tapos may 18 ka uli. 9 and 9. The answer actually is 99. A bunch of you answered 96. Okay? Which is wrong. Again, kasi I think kaya nyo yun sinagutan kasi sinubukan yung isang X lang eh. So again, sa exam, be careful ha. Kung 2 more tests, dalawang X. Kung 3, tatlong X. Tapos magiging 7 yung nasa ilalim. Okay? This question right here is actually about permutation and combination. I have a series of that on YouTube. Nakalink din sila sa description if you're watching this on Facebook and uh, or on YouTube then. Sabi ito, Lily has to choose a locker code. She needs a four-digit code combination made up of numbers 1 to 9 without repeating any number. Now, one of the reasons I feel na marami nagkamali dito kasi nakalimutan na siya. Okay, and if you forgot it, again, go ahead and watch my discussions on this. I discussed the difference between permutation and combination, including this technique that I will give you or I will show you that you don't need formula. Because the formula here is factorial. Okay, 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 the formula here is factorial. Na code combination. So, apat yung digits na ilalagay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, ang pagpipilian mong numbers are numbers 1 to 9. Now, marami din ang pwedeng magkamali dito kasi uh, uh, hindi nila alam ko ilang numbers yon. I suggest you count it just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Kasi kung nagkataon na number 0 to 9 ito, hindi siya actually 9 numbers. 10 numbers yon. So again, kung you want to make sure, pag 1 to 9, 9 digits sa pinagpipilian. Kung 0 to 9, 10. Okay. In this case, siyam ang pinagpipilian. So sa unang number, 9 ang pinagpipilian, 9 ang magiging number dyan. Sa pangalawa, ilan ang pinagpipilian? Ang sabi dito, without repeating. So ibig sabihin, hindi mo pwedeng pagpilian. Hindi mo na pwedeng ulitin uli yung number kung ano man yung pinili mo dyan. Kung gusto yun ng visual representation, ang ibig sabihin yan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Kung napili ko na yung number 5, kunyari ha, nilagay ko dito 5, hindi ko na siya pwedeng ulitin dito. Hindi pwedeng maging 5, 5, 5, 5 yung code. So, sa pangalawang number, ang pinagpipilian ko lang na digits ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? 8 digits na lang pinagpipilian ko. Na kung mamimili uli ako, kunyari kukunin ko yung 7, siya yung pangalawang number. Okay? Ang pagbibilian ko na lang next time would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, napapasin nyo na. Again, ha? Tuwing mamimili ako, mababawas siya dito. So, dito would be 7. This will be 6. Okay? Now, after ko makuha yan, all I have to do is to multiply it. Okay? So, i-multiply ko lang siya. 9 times 8 is 72. Tapos, 72 times 7 is 504 504 times 6 is 3024 so the answer is letter D okay now paano kung repeating naman yung numbers paano kung pwede mo siyang ulit ulitin all of these conditions I discussed in the videos na rin so just click on the link there if hindi nyo pa alam and I will be posting more questions like this kasi apparently marami sa inyong naguguluhan pa so if you don't want to miss any of those follow me at like a marivillo on Instagram for more quick questions and hopefully sa susunod tama ka na dahil napanood mo na ang explainer na ito so don't forget to share this with your friends and ano na kung feeling nyo matutulungan din sila and as we always say dito sa team never stop learning adya adya kayo nyan I'll see you in my next video
video and bye for now.